welcome to my bookshelf decluttering video. I have not cleaned up my bookshelves before I started filming this, so you'll have to excuse any mess that you see. Basically, I'm going through my bookshelves to see which books I would like to declutter and get rid of and donate to my local library. Um, basically, just books that I know I'm not going to read anytime soon or ever. And so I'm going to go ahead and take them off my shelves, donate them, and that will create more room for more books. So as you can see, this very top shelf here, I have some YA fantasy. Then I have my Rainbow Rowell collection. I'm going to keep all of those. More fantasy and some historical fantasy. So I'm going to keep everything on this very top shelf. Moving into the second shelf, I am going to keep this book on display right here. So I'm just going to move that down. Looking through these books, for right now, I am going to keep these that you see. This is my newest baby. Obviously, I'm keeping this. I cannot wait to read this. Just came out. Let's see. So far, so good. I don't know about this. I don't, I don't know. But I'm still somewhat intrigued, so I'll hold on to it. And then everything else I'm keeping here. Now moving on to this next shelf. Put my display books up, up, up one. This is my special copy of Pride and Prejudice. I'm obsessed with this. It's still in its like plastic casing. You'll have to excuse if you hear my dogs. They've been quiet this whole time. I started filming this video. They decided it was time to just start acting insane. So far, so good. I am going to get rid of this. I love Kristen Kishore. I tried to read this and I was very unsuccessful. So that's just unfortunate. So that we've got one book. Everything else looks good. <laughs> These are all my push pins. Excuse those. Everything else looks good here. Definitely keeping this. This is kind of like an unofficial bookshelf tour, I guess. Everything here looks good. I'm gonna keep these. All right, so we have Jane Unlimited here. I'm just gonna place it on the ground. All right, these are all of my childhood favorites. I'm not going to get rid of any of these books. These are all books I loved as a kid, so I'm keeping them all. Then we have all of my contemporary young adult, mostly young adult. I'm definitely keeping all of these. I've read and loved all of them right on this shelf. So definitely keeping all of these. So let us tackle, I'm gonna back up so you guys can see. So we have just gone through this entire first bookshelf right here. And I've got that one book. Now the books down here are books that I had already decided I was gonna unhaul. So I'm getting rid of the, um, what is this series called by Cassandra Clare? It's gotta go, I'm never gonna read them. Getting rid of Red Queen. That's an extra copy of Eleanor and Park I'm gonna donate. I'm definitely getting rid of this series. It really angered me when I tried to read it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a trilogy based on mermaid lore and it's um of Poseidon of Triton of Neptune I don't even know if that's in order but it really angered me when I first tried to read it and I did not like it so I'm getting rid of it then this is a book that was sent to me by a publisher I'm getting rid of Fallen Kingdoms I got when it was super popular getting rid of getting rid of these three I freaking hated this book and I never read these two it was sent to me by a publisher and I probably will never read it so getting rid of this entire stack then moving over here, I'm actually keeping these. I just didn't have any room for them on my shelves. So definitely keeping that. So that's everything from shelf number one. Moving on to shelf number two. Right up here, this one's gonna be a little bit harder, but I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is a book I bought from the dollar store out of curiosity I'm probably never going to read this I'm probably never gonna read this series I've been telling myself I was going to I even went ahead and collected all three books 
the Mistborn trilogy, but I'm not ready to unhaul them quite yet. That's just the truth, I'm not ready. So I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit young, young longer. Um, Afterworlds is another one I'm unsure of, but I'm not ready to unhaul. Same with the Goldfinch, not ready to unhaul. I think I will unhaul this one though. This is another one that I got at the dollar store that I will probably never read. So get rid of that one. And, and everything else on this shelf I am going to keep. So moving down, this shelf is kind of messy. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off and then reconvene with y'all. All right, next shelf. This is my collection of plays. These are all the ones I think before, let's see, 1915 to today. No, 1935, it just looks like 1915. Love that collection. Keeping all of these. Let's see, definitely keeping my dictionary. Definitely keeping these. I don't think I'm unhauling anything from this shelf. Yep. Everything on this shelf is going to stay, with the exception of this book. This is a random book I acquired randomly, so I'm going to unhaul this one, I think. Best of France. I don't know. Something tells me to keep it. All right, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to listen to my intuition. Keeping that one. And... Now hold on to the rest. Okay, so nothing from this shelf. Unhauling is so hard. This is my extra copy of Tower of Dawn. And I'm actually gifting it to a friend. So I'm going to leave that one in my collection. Then we have these. I'm pretty much keeping everything on this shelf. So I'm in the process of reading. These are mostly series, whether finished or unfinished and a thriller and I'm in the series um, in the series in the process of reading them all so there's that moving on to the next shelf same thing with this shelf books I'm in the process of reading that are part of a series for the most part most of them are I think I'm gonna unhaul this I freaking love the cover and that was the one of the biggest reasons I purchased this book, but I didn't really enjoy the book itself. I remember I bought it from Barnes and Noble, and like I said, the cover really got me, and I spent a lot of money on it, but I didn't really like the story. It was very simplistic, so that one's gonna go. And then, let's see, everything else is going to stay. Moving down to the bottom. This is a continuation of my contemporary YA shelf. Um, these are always like my summary reads to me because that's when I feel like reading contemporary young adult. And then the books do get a little bit more serious in the subject matter as we go down here. And for right now, I will be keeping all of these books. So I do plan on reading all of them and some of them I've already read. So we're gonna keep it as it is. And then I do have some books down here again that I am getting rid of. So we have mostly books that were sent to me by publishers that I will probably never read. So now I can just add. Add to them. There we go. But I am done with the shelf. I'm going to back up a bit so we can see. So, done with that. Now I can move on to my new shelves. Stay tuned. Now we move on to my new shelf setup. This is fairly new as of the past week or so, two weeks maybe. So yeah, these are my new shelf setups. So, it's going to be harder because these are basically like my favorites. And my favorite books and my favorite series. So I'm definitely not unhauling anything from like this first two to three shelves. Yeah. So up here we have series that are in the processes. Process? Processes? Series that are not complete. Then the standalone, as far as I know. An anthology. All of my Elizabeth Acevedo books so far. Then I have all of my Angie Thomas books so far. And then I have some books I've really enjoyed and or am looking forward to reading. 
okay? So we're gonna keep all of these, that's a no-brainer. Moving on to the next shelf, these are all my favorites. And we are obviously keeping every single thing on the shelf. <laughs> Moving on to shelf number three. Again, my favorites continued. I am definitely keeping everything on here. Have my Archie comics down here and the bookmarks right here. And this is the shelf that I think I'm gonna try to, no, I can't get rid of anything on this shelf. Come on now, look what we got going on. No, I'm not going to. So good. This is a lot harder on these shelves. Okay, moving down to the bottom. Things are gonna get a little dim. So I do apologize now for the inadequate lighting. So the first two books, Love Me and Starstruck, I'm on the fence about because I really wanted to read them when I got them from Book Outlet, but I don't know now if I actually ever will. So a lot of the books in this stack are on the I'm on the fence about but so far I'm not ready to unhaul anything on this side on this side oh this is gonna be awful because I did pre-order this book but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna unhaul again but better and I'm gonna try to give it to you know I'm donating it to someone who's really gonna love it and appreciate it and want to read it read it want to read it lord so I'm pretty sure that one's gonna go Everything else on this list is going to stay and yeah I'm liking everything else so we got one book out of this whole shelf and I'm torn you guys I'm really torn but I think I think I am gonna let it go all right so next of the two small shelves these are all of my continuation of childhood favorites, so that will stay as it is. Childhood favorites and like my new middle grade favorites. These are all my classics down here. Definitely not on hauling anything from this shelf. Down here is where my romance section kind of starts. So the books that I'm on the shelf about are the Vixen Ingenue Diva series. These three books right here, I'm not really sure about them, but Again, I'm not ready to unhaul them, so I'm going to hold on to them. Um, everything else I'm good with on this shelf. Then the continuation of romance. I'm definitely keeping pretty much everything on these shelves. Y'all know I love my romances. Um, I think the only books that I will be unhauling, see if I can find them. I really want to unhaul my Colleen Hoover books, but it just feels wrong right now <laughs> I've read so many of them and so many of them have really upset me but it's weird it's like I have a trauma bond with my Colleen Hoover books and I can't let them go it's very disturbing but it is what it is then we move on to some more romances some I haven't even read yet and some that are absolutely my favorites and some bookmarks right there then I think we're coming to some books that are going to be a little bit more questionable. Like I tried so hard to read these two books y'all last year. It's a series. Once Upon a Prince. I even think I filmed a reading vlog that of course never made its way up of me trying to read these books. And I just, you know what I found out? They were very preachy, like very Christian-y and preachy and I didn't expect that going into them. When I picked them up I didn't know that that's what I was getting into. So I think I'm going to unhaul them and it makes me very sad because this type of trope and these type of stories are right up my alley, but I'm going to give somebody else an opportunity to love them, okay? I freaking love this series, the 100th Queen series, so we are holding on to that. And then I'm pretty sure everything else here I'm holding on to, so yeah. Let me see. Yep, holding on to everything else. So these are these two shelves. Let me back up. So we've got these two shelves already figured out, and this big one, and this all of them all together. I'm like literally backing up to my wall so y'all can see everything. <laughs> on to my bedroom shelves. 
Y'all will have to excuse how messy and dim things are. This is my bedroom, but I'm keeping everything up here. This is like my little Harry Potter section. I need to move these. I'm actually in the process of um, getting a bookshelf just for my Harry Potter books. I don't like them right here. They're very dusty because of their location, and I just don't, I don't think they're gonna be well taken care of. So these are gonna be moving to a new location soon. Um, these are a continuation of children's books and children's classics, like I said. Oh my God, these dogs. It's gonna be very hard for y'all to see, so I'm just gonna grab it and show what I will be on hauling. This is the book I will be on hauling. I honestly don't even know what it's about. I've never actually read this book. And I think it's part of a series, and I think it's just time to let it go. You know, I think it's the Shadowfell series. I don't even have Shadowfell. So, time to let this one go. And over here, we finally have the last bookshelf. Well, not the last bookshelf, actually. There's another one, but it's, it's next to me. I'll show. I'm not unhauling anything on that shelf, I don't think, but I'll show y'all in a second. And I think I'm going to finally unhaul Stair Climber been holding on to it for a while but not probably not gonna read it I like the idea of it though I like the idea of it so much but it's probably not gonna happen and let's see everything else I don't know snow like ashes is another one that's probably never going to happen it was during the whole dystopian craze and hmm I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. But it's definitely time to unhaul Zenith. So, come on, Zenith. This is such a weird angle. Sorry, y'all. It's time, Zenith. It's time to let you go. Somebody else can find you and enjoy you. All right. I'm going to fix that in a second. Moving down. Let's see what we had in the Champion of Ravens. I decided to give another chance when some people that I really respect started raving about it. So, okay. Let's see. Then we get down here, the Rhythmatist. I'm definitely ready to un um, unhaul this. Another Brandon Sanderson, right? Um, I'm definitely ready to unhaul this one. Again, I really liked the, the idea of it but I don't think I'm ever gonna get to it. And it's also starting another series and I have enough unfinished series. Unfortunately, going to unfold this one. I kinda wanted to give it another chance, but mm, goodbye. Um, I think everything else I am keep, oh, nope. I am unhauling this one. Another downer and sad, 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 sad thing to unhaul. Sorry, gotta go. And then finally, I think I'm ready to unhaul Grave Mercy because it's probably never going to happen. Although another one I liked the idea of. And let me see if there's anything else on the shelf. Sorry, I know the lighting sucks down here, y'all. Nope, that's it. I'm gonna fix these. So here are my first two stacks of all the books that I will be unhauling. I have Once Upon a Prince and Princess Ever After by Rachel Hawk. I have Seize Today by Pintup Dunn. I have Sever by, I don't know her first name, Des, Des Daffano? I don't know her first name. That's terrible. I have Remember Yesterday by, by Pintup Dunn. Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Dark Horses by Cecily von Zeigser. She wrote the Gossip Girl series. That's all we need to know. I have Kristen Kishore's Un Jane Unlimited, Christine Ruscio's Again But Better, The Underside of Joy by Sere Prince Halberson, Yo, 12 Gates to the City by Daniel Black, Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, or Carriger, The Rhythmist, Rhythmist, the Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson, Venom by Fiona Paul, Raven Flight by Juliette Marillier, Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong, Grave Mercy by I think Robin Lefevers or Lefevers, Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James, She Would Be King by 
Way Too More, Stair Climber by Kenneth Opal, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. Okay, so this is the first two stacks. And now moving on to the third. In my third stack, we have I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella, Infinity and Omega by, don't know the first name, last name is Ricardo, Falling Kingdom by Morgan, I want to say Morgan Rhodes, Forget Tomorrow, again by Pintip Dunn, then I have the Triton series or whatever it's called, Teddy's distracting me, that's why the camera's moving, he's right here, and this, this is the chewing you hear, right here, he's going to town on this phone, okay Teddy, you gotta move out of the way buddy. I'm trying to film a video. This is when they love to bother me. All right. Pint up Dunn's book, the Triton series. What is it? Of Neptune, of Triton, of Poseidon. Oh my gosh. This video has gone to hell. Um, the extra copy of Eleanor Park. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And then the Cassandra Clare books. And remember, we're keeping everything on this side, okay? So yeah, that is my shelf unhaul, book unhaul video. Thank you so much for watching. Try to get this up ASAP. Good night. Good night. Excuse the lighting, but I just thought it was funny. I totally forgot Zenith. It was hiding. I had to shut off all the lights and everything. Wow. Gotta add you to the list. Sorry, buddy. It's time for you to go now. You can stay here.